Uh, they're just, uh, I, I've just really enjoyed this teaching, and we are talking about a day in the life of God. And I don't think anyone's ever done this before. I've never heard it before. But we're looking at Matthew chapter 6, and, and, uh, and, the, and the, the background here is that Jesus' uh, disciples came back after ministering. He had sent them out uh, two by two to preach that the, God, the kingdom of God has come near you and to heal. And they had done that. They came back. They were excited. They were tired. They're telling him all of the things that had happened. And he said, well, let's just go somewhere. There's a lot of people here. Let's just go somewhere alone and let's get away and, and have a day to rest. Well, by the time they got to their secluded place, the people had already <laughs> gone ahead and gotten there before them. Someone knew where they were going, I guess. Word got out and people rushed to this deserted place before Jesus got there. When he arrived, the people were all there. And Jesus, being, of course, God, and his heart was moved toward the people. In fact, it says it this way uh, in, in um, verse 34. And Jesus, when he came out, saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion for them because they were like sheep not having a shepherd. So he began to teach them many things. And he, they lost track of time because Jesus was in his element. He's surrounded by people. That's what God wants. You know, God came to the earth. He came to reveal, Jesus came to reveal the will of God to us. And if he was wanted to be stay away from people and be unapproachable, he would have just stayed in heaven. The very fact that he became a man and, and interacted with people shows you how much God loves people. In, in fact, it, it, he said this in 2 Corinthians 6, 16 and 17, and, and this is a, an Old Testament uh, prophecy that was brought forward to the New Testament. He, he said, I will dwell in you and walk in you, and I will be your God, and you will be my people. In other words, I want to live in the midst of people. God's not afraid of people. He loves people. And so Jesus was in his element. He's teaching, and he forgot. You know, they just lost track of time. The disciples said, hey, it's late. People are hungry. They haven't eaten all day. And everybody's like, oh, wow, yeah, we're, we, we are hungry. And... Uh, that's when Jesus went the extra mile and said, well, let's just feed them. And they said, we don't have enough food. We have five loaves and two fish. So they commanded the people to sit down and then, and they fed the people. And of course, in the God's own style, uh, everyone ate. They had seconds and thirds, if that's what they wanted. It said they all ate and they were filled. When God puts on a, 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 a dinner, you get all you can eat. You don't leave hungry or wishing that it, there had been more. They had all they wanted. And then they took up 12 basket full of, baskets full of fragments uh, and of the fish. And those who had eaten the loaves were about 5,000 men. So there was women and children also in that group. It was a very large group of people for an impromptu service that was never really supposed to happen. It wasn't on the schedule. But when God sees the people, his heart is moved toward people. God loves people. So by the end of this very long day, um, after they're all fed, he taught them all day. He fed them. They were full and and happy and satisfied. Look at God. He's still not done. Now they started out early. Early in the morning, as they began to fellowship, and then they moved to this deserted place, people came. Now it's late in the day, and uh, Jesus did this after the meal. Verse 45, immediately he made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, to Bethsaida, while he sent the multitude away. <laughs> I just love this. Jesus said, now look, I know we've got a schedule to keep. You guys get in the boat and you go to the other side. They said, what about you? Don't worry about me. I'm going to stay back. Why did he stay back? To send the people away. He, he didn't just say, that's all I got, bye, and run off. He stayed there. He shook hands. 
He hugged next. He said, I'm so glad you were here today. I hope you learned something. Have a good trip home. Love each other. Do something good for your... Whatever God would say to people when God is sending them away or saying goodbye, that's what Jesus did. Our, we serve a God that is a hands-on God. This is, you know, when you think of God manifest in the flesh, you think of miracles and signs and wonders. But this is God. This is God being God, interacting with the common people. And what did he do? He didn't even run off. He stayed there until he sent them all away. To me, that is one of the most beautiful pictures. I love to see Jesus heal the sick. I love to see him raise the dead. I love to see him preach and teach and do the things. But this, to me, it just shows you, it gives you an insight into the heart of God. He sent the people away. Can you imagine God sending the people away?